Hello, friends. Welcome to a new revision program of That's English. In today's documentary, we're going to talk about multiracial Britain. And about the problems that lots of British citizens have that are not of Anglo-Saxon origin. Before watching the documentary, we want you to know the meaning of some new expressions you'll hear in it. To raise a family, which means formar una familia, to raise a family. To feel discriminated, sentirse discriminado. In our documentary, we're going to ask three immigrants for their opinion on racism in Britain. And about the problems their community has in integrating into British society. As usual, we'll start by telling you the questions you will have to answer after watching the documentary. Listen carefully. The first question is, which of the interviewees has ever felt any kind of discrimination in Britain? The second, which of them still feels discriminated? And the last question is, what does David Tan do? Ready? Then let's watch our Out and About. A walk around London is enough to realize that Britain today is a multiracial society. 4% of the population of the United Kingdom are not of Anglo-Saxon origin, although nearly half of them were born in Britain. But many of those new British citizens may have had problems to integrate into British society. Let's find out. This is an area where many people of Caribbean origin live, and this is Mr. Lashley's home. Errol Lashley arrived in Britain from Barbados in 1956. In Britain, he got married and raised a family. From what we could see, his is also a multiracial family. We wanted to know what kind of problems an immigrant's family has integrating into British culture. So we asked Mr. Lashley if he felt different from an ordinary British person of the same social or economic status. I do not feel any way different. I came here at a young age and I have adjusted myself to the culture of the British people. And so far, I don't feel any way different. Do you feel discriminated in any way? Yeah. <laughs> no, not now. In the early days, I would say I feel a little bit discriminated. But after going through the process of life here, I think I have overcome that. And I do not allow it to get to me and create any problems. To find out more about discrimination, we chose a representative of the Indian community. She's lived in Great Britain since 1972 and works as a translator. Have you ever felt any kind of discrimination? When I first came to this country, um, I did feel it. Um, I went for a job interview and I was asked there whether um, in our country we had English typewriters or in Hindi typewriters, but um, they did not know how, how well um, cultured our country was. Um, Another thing, um, if, you, if you are traveling on the tubes, um, they, they don't want to sit next to you. That, that's where uh, we, I experienced it in the beginning. But now they have accepted us, and I think um, it's, it's uh, beginning to um, change. Do you think you have the same opportunities as an Anglo-Saxon person? 
no, I don't think that at all. Um, if I was to apply for a job um, and an English person was to apply for a job, I'm sure um, I would be definitely discriminated against. It looks like China, but we are still in the center of London. We came to Chinatown to find out what problems the Chinese community has. My name is David Tan. My surname is T-A-N Tan, and I'm the Chinese Community Liaison Officer for Westminster City Council. I work for the people in the city, and I help them in every respect of their life. It can be to do with schools, it can be to do with their businesses, with the planning matters, all that like you can see in Chinatown itself proper. I assist families in interpreting and translation in schools. In your opinion, why is the Chinese community so closed? As far as the older generation is concerned, the nature of their work makes them feel that they have to be part of their community because uh, the way they work by the time they finish, most of the other businesses are shut. So consequently, they go to their own clubs and they have their own meetings. And that is why they have to keep close together. Also for help and guidance, and especially the older generation has difficulties with the language problem. But in spite of all the problems mentioned, it is clear that these new British citizens, with their varied cultural backgrounds, are enriching the social and cultural life of the United Kingdom. We are sure you understood everything. Or nearly everything? Well, what is important is that you understood the main points. Just in case, let's check the answers. Do you remember the first question? Which of the interviewees has ever felt any kind of discrimination in Britain? Let's see. In the early days, I would say I feel a little bit discriminated. When I first came to this country, um, I did feel it. So the answer is Mr. Lashley and the Indian lady. The second question was, which of them still feels discriminated? It was the Indian lady. Let's listen to her. Um, if I was to apply for a job um, and an English person was to apply for a job, I'm sure um, I would be definitely discriminated against. And the last question was, what does David Tan do? David Tan himself told us. I work for the people in the city and I help them in every respect of their life. So he helps the Chinese community in every respect of their life. And he's the Chinese Community Liaison Officer in Westminster. Es el representante de la comunidad china ante la autoridad local. Now let's move on to the sketch. But before we do, I'd like to ask you a question, Sarah. Imagine you are a princess, a British princess. Would you dare marry someone of a different culture? If he's handsome? But I'm not a princess. You never know, Sarah, you never know. Mm, I might be a princess. Don't you like the show? You know, I hate this brutal fighting. You must pay more attention. The winner will be your husband. <laughs> I am not marrying any of those savages. You do as I tell you. So get off Pickering. Your Majesty? My beautiful lady Sarah, 
In a minute, I'll beat the last knight in the joust. Then you and I will go and celebrate my victory. I am so sorry. I have an appointment with my hairdresser. Oh. Hmm. Paige, who is my next rival? The Black Knight. Is that Black Knight? I am the Black Knight. Oh, but he's a colored knight. Yes, of course I am black. Any problems? Well, I thought the Black Knight was a white man dressed in black. Are you by any chance a racist? Oh, no. <laughs> Sir Gary, this is the 10th century. This is a multiracial country, isn't it, Dad? True, true. I have no racial discrimination in my kingdom then you don't mind the color of my skin, do you? I'm a liberal woman. I don't care if you're black or white. Lady Sarah, next week I'm leaving for the crusade. We can marry when I return. Oh, oh just a minute. Lady Sarah is my fiance. We're getting married next month. What? I'm not marrying you. Then will you marry me? I won't marry you either. I'll destroy you like a worm, you... You'll be dead in a minute. We'll see. Lady Sarah will marry me. No, she'll marry me. That's enough. Hmm. I won't marry either of you. Tomorrow I'm leaving for Camelot to visit Uncle Arthur. But, dear daughter! No one will decide my future. How temperamental. What shall we do now? I don't know. Oh, by the way, is it true that you're going to the crusade? Yes, we're leaving next week. Hmm. I haven't got anything to do next week. Um, I might come with you. Why don't we talk it over a couple of beers, you and I? Hmm? Great. I'm meeting with my mates in the Red Lion at 2 o'clock. Good. We can meet there. Join me. Sarah, have you already decided who you're going to marry, the Black Knight or me? Both. Great. <laughs> so I can choose, darling. Well, while, while we discuss that, let's have a look at our summary. <laughs> En esta unidad hemos aprendido a hablar sobre el futuro con diversos matices. Intenciones o planes futuros como por ejemplo Predicciones o promesas como También hemos aprendido a expresar indiferencia o aprobación. Just a moment. Uh, Sarah, would you marry me if I was from a different culture? No, never. You see, you're a racist. I'm not a racist. I just don't hate you enough. <laughs> nice one, Sarah. Bye-bye. <laughs> See you in the next program.